Okay, so now this is part two of my two videos. The first part basically went over discussing how to set up a pan adapter um, inside of the Yaesu 897D. And so I went through issues with doing that connection. You can see my first video on that and what the details are. Now that now the, this part is just to discuss once you have everything set up and connected, how to set up SDR console. We assume we have that opened. And right now I have my Yaesu on and I'm going to um, connect up to it. I'll push track, the track, um, the radio and the track between the radio and the RSP1. So the first thing to do is to select your um, software defined radio. In my case, it's the SDR Play RSP1. Um, I have my bandwidth set at two megahertz, which is about, for, for this instance is all that's really needed because the, I, the IF one stage only can show about two megahertz. So that's that that makes sense to set it to two megahertz. You can set it narrower or wider, but two megahertz is really what makes most sense. So when you come in here um, to the radio definitions window, usually, or the default is that this invert spectrum option is not picked, okay? So I'm gonna unpick it just to show you what happens when it's not picked. When you go back to the select radio uh, window, there is no invert spectrum option. So that's why when you first come in, you have to go to definitions for the particular radio. Then you click on invert spectrum, you save that. And then the invert spectrum option is available. It would normally be unchecked. So then you click check it. Okay, you do that. And now that's important because if you don't invert the um, spectrum, then you will, um, the, it just basically inverts the IQ um, components of the uh, of the uh, IF uh, waveform. And if you don't invert it, you won't be able to properly uh, demodulate your signals. So you need to do that for the 897 radio. And I'm sure this varies depending on which radio that you're using or connected up to. So we hit um, start at this point. And so that's, this is my um, 897 being monitored by um, SDR play. Now, a second option that has to happen <clears throat> is, and I, and I do it through this option here with, with this question mark, which says display the external radio options. I go into that location, and from here, uh, I pick frequency. And what you have to do for the 897 is you have to set the offset value to 68.33. This comes from a spec of the radio itself, so you set it to that value. That's where the first IF stage is coming in at 68.33 megahertz. And then once you've done that, you have to figure out for each for each um, band that you operate on, whether it's AM, FM, CW, lower side band, upper side band, single side band, lower or upper, or digital modes, lower and upper, you have to decide or figure out what these, what these offsets should be. And after digging around on the uh, internet, I haven't come across any documentation that says what those should be. Uh, I suspect it's out there somewhere. If someone wants to make comment in the video, please go ahead and, and make, make us aware of where that information is contained. <clears throat> but in any case, from trial and error, I figured out that for single side band, um, lower single side band, that this should be about two kilohertz. And um, this 1500, I'm not sure that means anything at this point. That's just me playing around. But I'm pretty sure that single side band lower should be two kilohertz. I'll probably change upper to two kilohertz as well when I start playing around. But in any case, for, for each modulation type, you may have to modify these offsets. Otherwise, when you when you um, when you uh, pan adapt with the with the uh, with SDR console in your 897, the offsets won't be correct, and, and your the the uh, the uh, your S, your software defined radio will be at one frequency and your radio at another, and they won't be matched. So you have to get these offsets correct. And again, I, I just did trial and error and it came up with two kilohertz for single sideband lower. So I'll eventually wind up going through and figuring out all the rest in a similar manner, unless somebody comes up with what they should be specifically. So with that being said, that should be all that's needed to set up the uh, SDR console with the SDR Play RSP1. And from there, you know, things should work pretty well.